Welcome back to KLVM News Network with your hosts Michelle Patasio and Kevin Brado. Thanks, Vivian. Currently, we are receiving reports about an outbreak of mad cow disease in England. Let's take a closer look at this phenomenon and switch over to our senior science correspondent, Omar Merton. Thanks, Kevin. Well, if you take a look behind me, you will see a cow infected with bovine spongiform encephalopathy, or better known as mad cow disease. This disorder affects the brain and spinal cord of the cow, which are made up of cells called neurons. Let's take a look at the neuron. Like any other cell, the neuron has many different proteins that all serve various functions. Proteins come in many different shapes and sizes. A normal protein has a certain structure that allows it to perform its specific function. A prion, on the other hand, is a misfolded version of the protein that serves no purpose. What makes it dangerous is that it is capable of making the healthy proteins become prions themselves, almost like a zombie. From there, these zombie prions continue attacking and changing healthy proteins and forming these large clusters. These clusters act like a horde and are even more efficient in infecting other proteins. As these clusters spread and other proteins become prions, they begin to destroy the cell. While doing this, they also start transporting themselves to other cells using various methods such as vesicles and nanotube channels. A vesicle is very similar to packages that cells would send to one another, so in the case of a prion, it's like a Trojan horse. Meanwhile, the nanotube channels are like bridges between the cells that they use to share resources among each other. As the infection spreads in the brain, they also kill the cells that they inhabit and cause lesions. These lesions affect the behavior of the cow and slowly they will kill it. These prions spread from one cow to another because the cow farmers use the animal's byproduct to feed other cows and as they ingest the brain tissue, they too will contract the disease. Sorry to interrupt you Omar, but we have breaking news coming in from our international affiliates. It appears that mad cow disease may become the next global pandemic. More reports of mad cow disease are showing up all over the globe. Hotspots are flaring in the following countries, the United States, Brazil, South Africa, and India. Well, Michelle, is this going to spell the beginning of the cow apocalypse? Are we facing World War Moo?